Yuta is one of the most important characters in JJK, and currently he is the center of attention, given that he is fighting an incredible fight against the King of Curses, Ryomen Sukuna. As a special great sorcerer, we already know that Yuta is incredibly powerful, and what's even more exciting is that a lot of his abilities are still unknown to the fans. His fight against the King of Curses is going to give him the opportunity to bring out his very best and deliver what could be an iconic performance against the strongest in the entire series. While Yuta has quite a lot of strength, along with tons of cursed energy thanks to Rika, there is one ability of his that is underestimated often, and it is his power to copy other cursed techniques. Perhaps Yuta can even copy Sukuna's very own cursed technique in this fight, and there certainly is a strong basis for it to happen. Yuta's very own innate technique is called copy, and it allows him to copy the techniques of other people. Copying various abilities has always been an interesting power that exists in the world of anime, and it is one that is very carefully used by the authors. For one, this is an overpowered ability that makes the character possessing it almost unstoppable in combat. As such, this ability often comes with some restrictions. In the case of Yuta, there are some prerequisites that need to be met. However, the scary part is that Yuta wields these abilities almost as if he were a natural with them. As the name suggests, the copy technique allows Yuta to gain access to other curse techniques by copying them after he meets a few prerequisites. Yuta can copy curse techniques usually when Rika is manifested. However, him being able to do it without her is a possibility as well. That said, it appears that copy is connected to Rika in some way or form. What makes his copy technique so dangerous is the fact that Yuta can then utilize them as if he were a natural. For instance, Yuta is a user of cursed speech, and he copied this from Inumaki. Surprisingly, Yuta actually uses this technique better than the original user. Since he has massive cursed energy reserves and the ability to heal himself, the damage that he suffers from using cursed speech is far less than Tagi himself. Furthermore, the difference in strength between him and others ensures that he can bring out this power to the very best. Other techniques that Yuta has copied include sky manipulation, which belongs to Tako Yuro, and fans saw this during his three-way fight against three Ishigori and Yuro. Clearly, Yuta can easily copy techniques when the chance presents itself, and one absolutely cannot deny the possibility of him copying Sukuna's very own curse technique as well. While copy is a very powerful innate technique, it certainly does have some conditions that need to be met. At the moment, we are not fully aware of what these conditions are, and as a result, it is difficult to pinpoint what exactly it is that Yuta needs to do to gain access to these powers. However, in the Culling Game arc where Yuta copied the power of sky manipulation from Takako Ruro, this ability was accessible to him after one of her arms was consumed by Rika. As soon as that happened, Yuta gained access to sky manipulation, and he used it on Ryu Ishigori, dealing a very deadly blow to him, almost as if he was born with this ability. As such right now, all we can theorize is that Yuta needs to consume some part of the user in order to gain access to their powers. This can be a massive part of the user, or potentially even a small strand carrying their DNA. As long as these prerequisites are met either on a large or small scale, Yuta will gain access to these abilities, and he will then gain the power to defeat his enemies in combat, potentially even one-upping them. But the real question is, can Yuta copy Sukuna's cursed technique? When it comes to Yuta copying Sukuna's very own abilities, the question remains as to how he will consume Sukuna's body parts. Much to the surprise of the fans, there is a way this condition can be met, and for that, we have to look no further than Sukuna's fight against Haiguruma. In this fight, Haiguruma attempted to stab Sukuna with the Executioner's sword, and he certainly did succeed in doing this. However, he later realized that Sukuna had chopped off his own hand to avoid being executed. This hand is still on the battlefield, and potentially, Raika can get access to it and consume it. If this condition were to be met, then one can possibly expect Yuta to gain access to Sukuna's very own curse technique. Furthermore, it is possible that some other prerequisites need to be met for Yuta to utilize the curse technique of others. As such, there might be other ways through which he can gain access to Sukuna's curse technique as well. And if that were to happen, then fans are in for an exciting time, as Yuta will then display some of the most incredible abilities in battle. Now the thing is, if Yuta can copy Sukuna's technique then, how well can Yuta use Sukuna's cursed technique? Yuta
Utah has been seen using his enemy's curse techniques as well as them. For instance, he can use cursed speech just as well as Inumaki, potentially even better. When it comes to sky manipulation, he has done just as well as Takako Yuro, and even Shikigami can be utilized by him to perfection. If Utah were to copy Sukuna's curse technique, then one can expect him to utilize the power of cleave and dismantle without too much trouble. These are abilities that he has observed carefully over the course of many chapters, and as a result, what he has seen is what he should be able to pull off. However, the case of Sukuna is somewhat different, as he is truly on a different level when compared to Utah. As such, even if Utah managed to learn this technique, he would still be an inferior user when compared to Sukuna. Furthermore, there are many things about Sukuna's curse technique that fans do not know at the moment, and as a result, Utah would also not be aware of. These powers can only be brought forth by Sukuna himself, and as such, even if Yuta does manage to pull off this incredible feat, Sukuna will still hold the upper hand in battle. Despite that, if Yuta manages to pull this off, it would certainly make the fight against the King of Curses even more exciting. But for that, we have to wait for the next few chapters. So what's your opinion on this? Tell me in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and make sure to subscribe. Again, thanks for watching this video.